the FAA, who has uh, mandated these checks, is uh, exercising understandable caution. This is, uh, as you've indicated, uh, an earlier model of the Boeing 737 family. It's not a 737 MAX aircraft, but it's similar size to the 737 MAX 9s, which have been uh, grounded for inspection so far. Uh, and the fuselage uh, sections, which uh, make up this aircraft, are, are very similar in, in structure to those on the, the MAX family. And a, a number of the aircraft in this category have these door plugs. That's the key reason they've been inspected, because uh, the, the way in which the aircraft is assembled and uses these door plugs is very much similar to the 737 MAX 9. Having said that, uh, th this is an aircraft which has been in service with a, a good, very good safety record over a number of years and millions of flying hours. So it is a, a wise, cautious uh, exploration of, of a similar of type. What are you hearing? Are there any preliminary findings after uh, last week's door blowout? Not as yet. I mean, certainly there's a recognition this does uh, appear, and it has not been uh, put in, in tablets of stone as such, but it appears to have been a, a quality control issue. We had uh, an address to all the Boeing workforce by their CEO, and he talked about quality escape in the factory, which had uh, manufactured the Alaska airplane, and quality escape in Boeing's own factory, by which they mean that something in quality was uh, amiss, was not uh, right. And as we know, a number of other aircraft on inspection, they found loose bolts. They don't yet know whether the bolts would appear to have been the... Uh, uh, the point of failure of the Alaska flight uh, were even installed or not. They, they haven't found them in terms of uh, the, the, the door frame itself uh, when, when that was located in uh, somebody's back garden. So we have to wait a bit longer. Uh, the, the 737 MAX 9s that were grounded, uh, about 40 of them have now been inspected satisfactorily, but the FAA has said it's safety, not commercial convenience, which will drive a return to service. So none of those aircraft are, are yet back in service, but I suspect they, they will be quite soon. How, if at all, do these um, incidents damage Boeing's reputation? I mean, are customers uh, voting with their feet? Does it change the way we behave when we book flights and holidays? I think as a general rule, it, it, it doesn't affect us. There, there, is a, there is an awareness, more, more than average, uh, of a particular manufacturer and an aircraft name, particularly as this is not referred to simply by some series of numbers. We talk about a 737, but you know, people might not remember that, but they think, oh, it's a MAX. They remember the word MAX, they remember Boeing. Uh, and certainly no airline has reported any change in booking behavior as yet. Indeed, the, the earlier uh, version of the MAX, the MAX 8, was grounded up to two fatal crashes for 18 months, uh, came back into service uh, progressively uh, from uh, the end of that grounding with no perceptible uh, reluctance by the traveling public to use those flights. Airlines offered refunds, they offered change of flights if people were concerned, and that doesn't happen. But there's no doubt, having said that, it's still uh, a very significant piece of damage to the airline's reputation, uh, not least in the industry. We've heard airline leaders such as Sir Tim Clark, President of Emirates, long talk about lack of quality in Boeing and a need for culture change. Michael O'Leary, the boss of Europe's largest low-cost airline, Ryanair, which uh, is flying hundreds of Boeing aircraft, including another version of a MAX, has said Boeing's quality is not where it needs to be. He's putting more of his own engineering manpower in the factories to supervise or uh, provide additional quality control and uh, first-hand inspection of aircraft being delivered to them. Uh, so there are rumblings of discontent uh, about the way that Boeing has been performing and that it shouldn't be finding itself in this position again. John, good to see you. Thanks so much for coming on the programme again. Uh, John Strickland, the independent aviation business strategist.